Hey guys, it's Lee here with another crypto uh, mining update. Uh, so this afternoon I was reading the uh, crypto mining blog, uh, which is a really good blog. Um, I'd recommend that you uh, check it out. It's pretty good for keeping up to date with um, uh, the whole sort of a crypto mining um, type arena. Um, you'll get like, updates on you know what software has been released, new miners, um, altcoins and all stuff like that. Um, I don't have any affiliation with the site, it's just a site that I use um, to read um, personally and get my um, updates and stuff from, so uh, worth checking out. Anyway, um, getting back um, onto the subject of what I actually wanted this uh, video to be about, was um, I was reading on here and it said that there is this new um, altcoin called uh, HODLCoin, um, but it has some interesting uh, features, so I thought it might be worth checking out. So the interesting features are that it is a um, CPU only coin and it is mined uh, with the actual um, HODL coin uh, wallet itself um, so everyone gets the opportunity to CPU mine with their computers and um, at the moment as far as from reading there is no pools or anything so it's kind of like um, a fair chance open game thing. Uh, the other interesting uh, point about it is that uh, the it kind of works like a proof of stake in in terms of the actual wallet, but it it's not proof of stake. It's a, a proof of work, so you use your CPU for mining. However, uh, the currency that you hold within your wallet also earns interest as well, and it says that it is a five percent uh, return per year. So there's kind of an incentive to a mine because it's mined fairly using your um, CPU. Um, but it's also an incentive to keep the money in your wallet um, to earn interest um, over time. So a bit like a um, bank account in it, in it to a certain degree or a savings account, should I say. Uh, so yeah, I thought it quite looked interesting. So um, here's some specs. They've uh, laid this out quite nicely, um, sharing the various sort of specs of it. It says that there hasn't been any pre-mine or um, IPOs or, or nothing like that. So it's just got under a fair launch. Um, the total supply is just over 81 million. And but it also has some bonus uh, payments, so this is going to be what's used for the actual interest. So I did notice that the interest is quite a lot, um, but I guess that's going to be paid out um, over time uh, on that five percent basis. Um, so quite a lot taken. So let's move on. Uh, let's check out this uh, link, which is uh, takes us to the Bitcoin Talk website. Um, so I thought I'd just get to um, download it, um, install the wallet, um, see if we can get mining with it and see how we go from there. Uh, so it's the same sort of thing, we need a Windows 64 setup, so let's just go and download that. Got some nice looking colourful graphs uh, showing the uh, the release of it. So let's save that to our downloads. Uh, I'll put a link to this uh, page in the actual um, description of this video. So that's uh, downloaded. Um, I'm just going to run it. Let's go. I just need to choose a different folder because I like to keep all my crypto stuff um, together or separately, depending on your perspective. Let's wait for that drive to spin up. Uh, crypto coins. Create a new folder. Set H O D L. Or... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's go and install that. Uh, yeah, we'll run it straight away. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm going to use a custom directory for the. Uh, it says the core, but really it's the blockchain. Um, so I'm going to also put that in the same uh, folder as the installation uh, where is it? there it is um, just got like a firewall notification so I'm just going to allow that I'm just going to close the browser now so we can focus on what we're actually working with. Okay, so this is the main wallet. It looks very similar to the other uh, Bitcoin type QT wallets um, on the initial 
impression of it. So at the moment it says no block source available. Um, I guess we're just going to have to wait until it connects to a couple of peers uh, before that starts uh, downloading. Let's just have a quick look through the uh, options if any. Uh, one of the things I was wondering is whether you can, um, I know it's obviously CPU mined, but I was wondering whether you can set things like um, how many CPU threads you're going to be using or anything like that. So just have a look. Uh, start. Um, they're kind of all your basics. Um, oh, mining. That might be useful. So it says mining on one gigabyte of uh, RAM required. Well, it actually just says one gigabyte required. Presumably that going on the actual crypto blog um, website, I did actually read that. Yeah, it requires one, one gig of RAM. Um, so you can just turn it on or off. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause the video here. Um, I'll let the blockchain sync up and then I'll come back to it and we'll see if we can mine a little bit. Okay guys, we are back. So that was about 15-20 minutes for us to sync up the chain. Um, we did have like a progress bar but that's um, cleared now. Um, with, I think we had uh, yeah, six connections so that's uh, synced up nicely. I'm just going to minimize that for a second just to show you on the uh, Bitcoin talk, uh, the forum page, I was just reading about how the interest is uh, paid out. Um, so there's kind of uh, three different uh, parts to it. So you have like a standard interest rate, which is 5% uh, APR, and that's just your regular wallet balance. Uh, the second part is a bonus interest rate for early adopters. So whilst your um, money I should have said, whilst the coins are in your wallet, you're going to get bonus interest rates for the first, um, up to basically the second year. Um, but the initial part is within the first sort of 90 days, you get astronomical uh, interest rates, which is great. Uh, the third part is this uh, deposit bonus. So this is quite um, an interesting thing. What you do is with your uh, HODL balance within your wallet, you can actually kind of lock it away for a like an extra um, bonus interest payment uh, but what it also says is that once it is sort of kind of like locked, locked away you set it for uh, different terms and then you get uh, bonus interest payments uh, but once it's in there it is locked so it's kind of like a, um, a fixed term savings account uh, but yeah that was all quite interesting so let's um, uh, close the browser again and we'll go back to it uh, so like I say we're now synced up so what I'm going to do is uh, let's see if we can get on with the uh, mining and I'm just going to turn that on and we'll see what happens. Okay so I can see at the bottom we've got a little uh, symbol change to say that we are mining. Uh, so we've got one miner, eight threads so it's using uh, all the threads of the CPU. Let's just uh, bring it up so we can uh, show you uh, what effect it's having on the um, computer resources. Um, so you can see here my uh, CPU is an Intel uh, i7 950. Um, I normally have it overclocked but I've just noticed that the actual or the reported speed there is uh, less than what it should be and also the uh, true speed is also less. Um, I'm not too sure what that is to be honest. I will have to go and um, check my BIOS settings um, and I'll come back to it. Um, by default I normally have it overclocked um, up to about just under 4 gigahertz normally. Um, so I have to check that and see how it compares. Okay, so not too much. Uh, what was that information again? So it says that we're mining currently at 60 hashes per second. So it just says one miner and eight threads. Um, I'm just going to check on this um, CPU clock speed and then I will continue here. So let's just uh, pause the video once again and we'll come. 
Okay, we're back again. So I just checked on the uh, BIOS settings and uh, they all appeared to be um, normal, so that was a little bit weird. Um, so it's going to run this program called uh, Real Temp, which just checks the uh, temperature of your CPU, but it also tells you your um, uh, clock speed and uh, multiplier. Um, yeah, and it seems to be uh, running faster. The, the multipliers at least at the right levels, I did have it I think it was uh, 19 times 205, something like that. So, uh, where do we save that little uh, hodl? Let's make a shortcut for this somewhere. So I'm just going to fire up the um, the wallet again and just see what how it runs this time around. Okay, I'm just going to set it to mine sort of straight away and then we'll just take a look um, let's take a look at the uh, uh, the resource monitor as well uh, just because it's a bit more visual Okay, so we have kind of um, conflicting information. So yeah, I don't know, maybe that's normal. I just not really noticed it on um, the performance monitor before, or the results monitor, should I say. So yeah, it's just reporting at yeah, two, two and a half gigahertz. I'm not too sure why that is. Um, I honestly couldn't, couldn't say, to be honest. Um, yeah, the real temp is picking it up correctly now. Yeah, 19 times 205, that is what I have it set to. Um, but just this doesn't, I don't know, perhaps someone can update me on that. Uh, let's just have a look and see what the uh, the hash rate is. Oh, if it shows us. We might have to wait for it to resync or catch some peers. Oh no, we are mining. Okay, so that's that. So with a i7-950 um, overclocked slightly to 3.9 gigahertz call it uh, we're getting 60 hashes per second um, okay so I'm just going to leave that up and running uh, what I might also do is um, I have a Mac here as well with a uh, Intel i5 just a mid-range a mid-range one um, and I think there was was there a Mac one out? I can't actually remember um, but I'll install it on that as well and we'll see um, how that performs in comparison uh, just because it's a newer processor it's a, it is an i5 so it's sort of stepped down but it is newer so it performs um, comparably with this one uh, okay I think that's all for this video guys uh, actually it's not uh, what I'll do is um, I'll leave this running overnight um, see if we can mine some coins and then we'll uh, I'll do an update from there okay guys so we've just hopped over to the uh, Mac now um, I just installed the uh, HODL uh, wallet for the Mac. It was just a very straightforward process. Uh, literally just download, straight install, um, no complications. So um, I won't show you that. Um, the blockchain has just synced once again, took about 10-15 uh, minutes. Uh, and what I'm going to do now is just um, start mining um, and see how that compares uh, with the uh, PC. So just gonna let that run just for a second. Okay, just uh, continuing on, just had to get the uh, door there. So our hash rate is uh, 55 hashes per second. Uh, it just says one mine and four threads. So a little bit slower than the PC with the i7. Um, the processor that we have in this Mac is an i5. I can't remember the exact model. Let's just take a does it report the model? I thought it did somewhere. I don't know. I'll find out and put it in another video. It's not such a big deal. Um, 
So that's that. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to leave the uh, Mac Miner and also the PC uh, running overnight. And um, we'll come back about this time tomorrow and we'll see um, if we found any blocks, got some coins and how we're doing with it all. Uh, so I'll leave it there for the time being. Hey guys, it's Lee back here with another update. So it's been about 24 hours uh, roughly since uh, I started mining um, using the Mac and also the PC uh, with the HODL coin uh, wallet. Um, on the Mac, as you can see uh, within this uh, frame, uh, we have no action at all. Um, we're still mining, um, 43. It did go up to about 50 at one point um, on the Mac but no coins as of yet. Um, unfortunately, on the actual PC, um, I was also mining um, Ethereum or Ethereum, um, but I had to stop the, um, the HODL core because it was basically locking up, crashing the PC. Um, I did find a way to um, reduce the actual mining threads within the actual uh, HODL claw uh, client. Um, but that didn't make any difference either. So I basically uh, ditched the mining on the PC um, just so I could focus on Ethereum, uh, which is currently the most uh, profitable coin. So what I'm gonna do from this point onwards is uh, let it run for an another 24 hours or so and um, see if we've got any uh, coins by, by that point. So um, I'll update you then. Hey guys, Lee here again. So I just wanted to do a final update and uh, get this video uh, wrapped up, um, mostly because um, I've got quite a few other ideas and other videos that I want to get made. So this uh, sort of series uh, or compilation of uh, videos has been a very um, choppy experience um, and it hasn't turned out how I wanted. Um, you can see on the actual desktop behind me that uh, the holder coin uh, wallet is still empty. We've got no transactions. Uh, we're still mining away there. I should actually uh, stop that whilst we are uh, recording at least. Um, but yeah, so it's been running for a couple of days, um, about two and a half days uh, to be a bit more specific, but we still haven't got any coins. So that's just where we are. So I'm just going to wrap it up here. Um, what I'll do is um, I'll probably leave this uh, wallet mining on the Mac. Um, and I'll do like a follow-up video um, or if I have any other like progress reports to um, to um, let you guys uh, know about. So a little bit disappointing um, but I think this coin has got a little bit of a uh, potential and I quite like the idea of the, the savings and the interest payments and that sort of stuff. So it's got potential but um, unfortunately I couldn't really share or expand upon that with you. Um, but I'll come back to that in the future. So till the next video guys, take care.